Welcome back guys to another episode of my Factorio Let's Play. So yeah, this area here has seen some significant change over the past couple episodes. So the last one we build and hook this monstrosity in, which is definitely doing a great job. Um, these down here are also still working. Let's just get rid of that all, actually. Yeah, just quick and painless like that. Okay. There's like a gun turret in here. Like this thing is not here for like 50 hours or whatever and never was used once. Great. How does actually our electrical network look uh, now across all of this here? I mean, yeah, it hooks in up there and down here, but this doesn't hook in any anywhere. So yeah, now everything up here is connected through this. This one power pole right here. That's obviously bad. Uh, we can also just clean up something here a little bit, that's for sure. And then we can just hook these in here. Like that. Just a few more power poles, you know, just to have some space there. And these chests also now getting filled up, that's for sure. Let's have a look in our logistic network actually. 65,000 raw wood. We do have quite a bit of concrete. 10,000 fast transport belts, yeah. 7.6,000 electronic circuits, well. Solid fuel also quite a bit, yeah. Nice, there's like one player in the logistic network as well, cool. I wonder where that comes from. Okay, so let's actually move on to what we want to do here today, and that's at least designing a single module for the advanced circuit production. So for that I would like to take a look at uh, the current, let's actually just look at the current production through here. So. Yeah, the last 10 minutes seemed pretty stable. So that's 1.5 thousand a minute. Uh, I would like to just calculate it again. And yeah, I know you can't see it, but I can and that's important. Uh, because it would be kind of weird if you guys would see it, but I didn't, right? So, oh man, I'm, I'm blind. There this is. Uh, so 1.5 thousand a minute. I just have to calculate what is a second. 1,500 times 60 is actually 90,000. But I have to divide by 60. So yeah, that's 25 items a second. Which is actually not that far off from what we were producing with this thing. All right, um, so for 25 items a second, we would need 35.8 factories. Let's give this all the whole like rounding thing. Let's do 40 here as well. That's not expensive at all. Like we're talking one belt of green circuits, one belt of plastic bars, and well, yeah, 4.2 belts of copper cables in theory. So that's actually not that bad, right? I mean, we are, after all, putting in two full belts here of everything. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, this is not really a full belt of this one, but down here it is and we can 
definitely get more plastic out of this ridiculous plastic build. I mean, at least ridiculous for our current scale. So we could go for 80 factories here, in theory. Let's do that. 56, 56 uh, items a second. 1.4 blue belts worth of red circuits, which is a lot more than like the little bit we are producing here, which is like definitely not a red belt and definitely also not a blue belt. Okay, so 80. We could do 8 times 10. So we could do 8 modules with 10 factories each. Would kind of sound nice to me at least. Okay, so what do these actually need? Let's plop one down in here. And let's take a look. So we need plastic board electronic circuits. So these things, they get delivered. So they get delivered like that. The thing is when we do our singular things and we can also make a combined belt of those. So these come in from like one side, you know, like that's the combined belt, which is covering both of these things. So copper cables. Let's just kind of look at the ratio here we have going on. So we have 80 for the red doodads. And only 19.8 for the copper cables. So the copper cables in here also do in the electronic circuits. So I have to go into different view here. So we need a grand total of 160 copper cables a second. So in total that's about like 10 or so factories. So that's not a lot. 10 factories and 8 modules would mean we would need 2 factories every module. I mean we could go for something like this then. I would like to have it very compact though. So these modules themselves should be fairly uh, thin. I want only like one row of those modules basically. So I want them uh, to be in like that uh, size basically because then we can put in these at the sides and then we also have uh, that pretty nicely from like overlap and everything. So actually if you have those at both sides that would mean we have twice the amount of beacons. Which would raise the uh, speed by quite a lot. Wait, let's go back to eight. So we want 56 items a second, yeah. With uh, 16 beacons now, we would get 102, but that's not feasible, I would say. So that would bring us down to only 43.7 factories, actually. So going for like that full coverage would actually help uh, a lot in reducing the overall space, at least. So uh, let's just try that. I'm not sure if we can do that, actually. Uh, let's maybe just throw these down here at the sides to just kind of physically see how far we are allowed to go. Okay, so yeah, we said eight of these dudes here. I mean, we could also say uh, this is like one module from the size, basically. Because that would make things a lot easier. And I mean, what was it, like 43? 3.7, yeah, and we could go for 44. 
44 factories in total, yeah. I mean, that's a little bit too much. Like, we can't actually sustain that all the time. But 44 factories like this. Yeah, this should actually be quite nice. Because then we can easily import uh, our copper like this. Uh, so now you have to output stuff here as well. Uh, yeah. I think for that we can just uh, go weaving a little bit with some uh, belt weaving. This shouldn't be an issue. I mean, yeah, you might call that cheating, but I don't. So I don't care. And the output of these things, frankly, isn't that high, so... We uh, shouldn't run into any issues here with... Uh, only running red uh, underground belts here. I mean, yeah, now they only output to one side, which I don't like, to be honest, so... Uh, can we, though? So we have to swap the sides, basically. So how do we do that in here? So these are on the outside and we want them on the inside. I mean, I would do this like that, but that doesn't really work because we don't have enough space in here. I mean, we could go for a double weaving. Uh, by that, I mean on both sides, essentially. So we could actually uh, pull that off as well, I think. Wait. Using mining productive 22, just that went fairly fast. <laughs> Uh, wait, let's step back here for a second, actually. Um, yeah, let's actually just... Because we have, like, both sides to, to use, basically, so we can maybe actually get something in here. So if we get these two as far away as we can... Uh, and then we do that. Yeah, we can actually just do something like this, you know. Like, no belt weaving even required. Isn't that nice? Uh, wait, now I have to... do the other output on the lower side. Man, I actually really love this idea. I think this might actually end up being useful in even more situations. Yeah, like, isn't that great? Like, when you just... you have that nice idea and it... should work... yeah, no, those are... fuck. Those on the wrong side. No. Now those will go on the outside and that will then uh, move to the side where we can't. Uh, where we can't put on this thing. Oh. Damn. I was so confident in this idea, but at least I catched it uh, now. And not when it was all too late. Let's see. Maybe we can actually just get that a little lower here. Yeah, like that. But then we would need to input right here. I mean, even if we would move those out a little bit here. 
Yeah, no, we already had the same problem then again. Like, then we definitely have to do some belt weaving again. Uh, then we can input right there into this thing. And then we have to connect these two things up with a little bit of belt weaving. But I mean, at least that's creative belt weaving, you know, like that's uh, fine, I guess. Uh, how do I replicate this? No, let's actually try and copy paste that all. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, copy paste that, flip that over and put that in there. Yeah, that should work, I think. Mm, let's put in... Actually, now we can combine these two things together and then we have our... Uh, wait, no. You don't, but you are. So then we have our two input lanes and we have this thing. So now, I mean, we still have a little bit of space down here left. So we can maybe make this a little bit more beautiful here. I would love to output like right in the middle. And then we have our two inputs here for uh, green circuits, plastic, and then copper, and then that's the output. All right. I would love to test this before I uh, go on now, though. Um. Yeah. Well, putting this thing in here is now a little on the harder side, so let's actually... Yeah, let's move that out there. Mmm, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? So we could move this over here now. And then we can fit all of this in here. Awesome. Alright, so let's actually set up like three boxes in here. Yeah, we don't need the output, I think. And then we can do this. So just do some copper in there, some uh, green circuits in there, and then we don't have any plastic. I'm actually not auto-trashing plastic, so we can just steal some of here. Uh, yeah, some. Oops. Uh, yeah. So yeah, all of those are now actually working and also outputting correctly, it seems. Yeah, no, like these two things go on there. That should move through here fairly smoothly. Looks not too bad on the output and everything in here. Okay. No, I'm happy with that result. I really am. Yeah, no, I think we really made something uh, pretty great here. I am definitely very happy with this. So, let's see. Modules, obviously, at last. Well, we don't really have a lot of modules right now. So, that's going to be the next issue. 
yeah, we are even missing modules here, so uh, yeah, this is going to be the biggest challenge of this entire thing. Uh, yeah, so everything is kind of easy, except finding the actual modules. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, but our solar panels are definitely backing up, at least our accumulators definitely are. Mm, so yeah, let's just look after the modules in the next episode then, and let's just... Throw... We wanted to go down, I think, yeah. Uh, let's see if this actually like fits from the height. Ah, well, we don't see any th everything in there. We do see at least something, though. Yeah, so let's just keep that in here like this, and then, uh, yeah. So this is going to take a while because of like RoboPort coverage and stuff. Because those row ports are only like seeing the upper few things until like all these row ports are in there. So this will take a little while probably. Um, but yeah, all the uh, dudettes were ready here and grabbing the stuff, it, it seems. The great uh, robot migration is already happening again. Yeah, so I will now need to steal like all the speed modules and also productivity modules that I can find. Yeah, I mean these are f fairly expensive, so... I actually don't need all of those, I think. Yeah, productivity modules are a problem. But I mean, looking at the price of these things... 360 iron and 800 copper and 30 CPUs. Which, again, is a lot of stuff. Wow. Yeah, we are doing some progress, I think. Oh, I think the problem is that we will never be able to remotely place all of this because we still don't really have quite enough radar coverage in there. Ah, well. Yeah, I really do think that the advanced circuit thing now is definitely going to save us now. Um, because that's a lot of advanced circuits. We are essentially more than doubling the production now, I think in the end so yeah i hope this will all work out nicely but we'll see in the next episode if it does because next episode is switching time oh boy i'm quite happy and i can now just record the episode directly but you have to wait 48 hours wait a second what do i see down here Ooh, processing units seem uh, quite backed up, but the problem now is again our product production uh, science packs, which lack red circuits. So yeah, this all kind of lacks red circuits, doesn't it? So let's uh, fix that in the next episode. And until then, have a great time. See you all then. Bye bye.